Hello, and in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to use forms. Specifically, I want to show you how to use subforms and a combo box. And this is in Microsoft Office Access, which is database software. So, um, in this database, what we have is we have uh, uh, two tables we're concerned with is a student table and a loan table. So, um, I want to make a form based on the students and then depending on what student appears on the form I want to show um, what loans that particular student has taken out in the subform. So um, we start off by going to create and then going to um, form wizard and um, First of all, I want to add in all the student details, so I select uh, table student and uh, click on the double right arrows to include all the fields, so that's, uh, and all these fields are in. Then I go to my loan table, and these are all the loan details, so you've got like loan date, return date, um, student ID, term ID, etc. So I again double click on the double right arrows and then click on next. Um, it says, how do you want to view your data? I want to view it by table student, so I'll keep that as it is. I'll keep it to a data sheet view. And um, here you can just um, name your form. So for example, I can just call it uh, student. student. And then the sub form, I can just call it student loans. And then here it will say, do you want to open the form uh, to view to enter information, or do you want to modify the form's design? Uh, we will be modifying the form's design, but not just yet. We can do that later. Um, so I'll just click on Finish. And uh, this is your completed form. And now if we scroll through the records of the students, you'll see um, different students have, uh, diff have taken out different loans. And um, this, their, their loan details will appear in this subform here. And all the student details will appear here. So um, if I keep on scrolling through, um, depending on what student I choose, it will show you what the loans they have out. Now, um, this is the subform and this is the main form. So the subform is within the main form. Now, what I want to do is create a combo box. So I go up here and um, click on design view. Now this combo box that I'll be creating is to select um, the student. Um, so I click on go to design view and you've got uh, loads of different designs along here, uh, design options. Um, and the one you want to select is a combo box. So if you keep on scrolling through and if you hover over each one, it'll tell you what each one is. So uh, the one I want to access is a combo box. So it's this one here, and I select this, and I just um, go down here and drag out my combo box. Okay, and then it will say, this wizard creates a combo box which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want your combo box to get its values? Um, and what you want it to do is, uh, the one I want to select is I want it to find a record on my form based on the value I select in my combo box. So I select the last one. then click on next. Uh, what do I want to appear in my combo box? So I don't really need student ID because you can't really get much information from student ID. Um, just for name, surname, you could put class in there but um, I'm just going to leave it out for now. So the only fields I'm going to have is for name and surname. So this is how it will appear in the combo box. Obviously if you um, enter all the fields then obviously you might want to um, hide the key column, but this is not necessary, so I'll just select it and it says it's recommended. So then click on next. Um, you can label your um, combo box, I'm just going to keep it as it is, um, but uh, good practice is when you um, give your combo box an appropriate name, I'm just keeping it um, as it is for this demonstration. So I click on finish, and um, now you can move the combo box wherever you want to. Now if I go back to design view again, um, and then we go down here, and obviously you might want to name 
this combo box appropriately. So you can name it maybe select student, uh, which might be a bit more appropriate. Again, you might want to go back into design view and just rename it there. But um, so what we've got is you can then go through um, and select um, each particular student rather, uh, rather than having to scroll through all the records. You can just use a combo box and you'll notice that wherever you choose in the combo box, their details will appear here and their relevant details, like for example, their loan details will um, appear in the subform, which is loan tape, loan tape um, the loan subform. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.